Hello, hello there and welcome back to War Thunder. So today I have a great replay for you sent in four weeks ago by Oliver Silence and he is in the German Focke Wolf 190 A8 and this is a plane that I have some great memories about. However, let's start from the beginning and I want to start with that this replay or you know this battle was sent in correctly. So in the video description down below you find an instruction how to send me a proper email. But I will point this out once more. I get sent in dozens of emails per day where half of them get deleted immediately because they are sent wrong. Now this is not that I am you know a, a, a grammar Nazi or that I just want to uh, have the email perfectly written. It's objectively unusable what I get sent. I have been sent emails with the wrong replay attached. I've been sent emails with no replay attached. I've been sent emails with no replay, no, f no screenshots and no text. And I want to have a quick summary in just a few lines why you think that battle is worth showing on my YouTube channel why it is so special for you, which is one of the reasons why I chose this battle from Olive's Silence. Now the replay is some four weeks old, the replay file that is, so some of the features are deactivated but it doesn't really matter too much, I made it work just good enough. The next thing is the replay itself. Do not send me the server replay. It doesn't work the same way as the original replay file from your PC. In your War Thunder folder there is a subfolder called replays and you have to send me the correct replay and before you attach it to your PC please rename it with your player name and the vehicle in question. In this case the correct replay name would be Olive Silence Focke Wolf 190A8. Any further additions of information are nice, but not really necessary. The replay file is so important because it is better to make content of it. The server replay doesn't work the same way. I have to point this out because half the emails got deleted even though I had some tank battles with 17 kills in not so great tanks. But I couldn't make a video from it because I got sent the server replay. So the original replay from your PC. Talking about mistakes, there is a P-38 that chooses to throw away his altitude and speed advantage to go into a head-on and then doesn't even deal any sort of damage while coming in a straight line to the Focke Wolf 190 A8 from Oliver Silence. And that's his first kill. There you can also see that the replay doesn't really work anymore the same way that it would have worked like four weeks ago. That's not his fault, that's a fault on my end because I didn't record it up until now. And you know some, some minor patches will then screw around with the replay files. War Thunder is by the way not the only game that does it. Now from over 3, nearly 4 kilometers altitude, Oliver Silence now goes into a steep dive to hunt some P41, uh, P-47s and P-51s. Short burst, beautiful kill. There is a little bit of a delay, lag you might call it, in the replay. It didn't really look like those shots would hit, but they did. And with over 700 kilometers an hour, he probably got this kill and then is still having, while climbing back to a mere kilometer, with uh, over 600 kilometers per hour. And why did he sacrifice all the altitude? Well, it was good that he was at this altitude, but in typical fashion, there was no allied plane. And then a P-63 with this terrifying 37 millimeter misses again in the head-on all the shots. So what is this with the Focke Wolf 190s? They have one thing going for them and that is the combination of firepower and roll rate. But the rudder and the control surfaces overall are always so wobbly. So to get the guns on target and do precise aiming is always kind of a challenge. 
on the other hand, I think that a lot of allied players have too many choices. And despite the Germans having access to some great bombers these days, they are not that popular as they were once in the past, um, aka JU-288. And the bomber meta isn't, uh, there, isn't there for the German tech tree, although they are capable of it many times with greater handling and performance than the allied bombers which you know suffered from power creep and feature creep but you know a lonely flying b17 b24 uh, lancaster whatever um, is always going to be a victim especially if they fly alone in a straight line and uh, do not use their gunners manually and just you know keep continue flying in a straight line but funnily enough, the Allied side spams those planes and they are also refusing to play together and um, they are also refusing to climb and stand altitude. While the German pilots, well, they do this kind of stuff. And uh, yep, he still lives. That counts as a solid landing. <laughs> anyway, so again, back to the replay. Please send me a short summary on why you think this battle of yours is worth featuring what makes it so special for you um please attach the correctly renamed uh, replay file not not the server replay link i will not look at the email any further even though you might have the best result talking about results also make some screenshots from your post battle results if possible um, or at least then in the bottom right corner there is still this kind of letter with the um, battles achievements at least then send me this screenshot if you escaped um, if you pressed escape after the battle and you know your post battle results vanished um, you don't have to record the battle and send me the, the, the link or the YouTube link whatever that's my job because if you send me the replay, what it actually does is that the replay gets, you know, played with the graphic settings on my PC. For tank battles, that means that I will see if somebody is ULQ sniping. Uh, needless to say that those are not featured. Which gets sent to me more often than you might think. You know, I'm at the receiving end. I know what gets sent and what doesn't. A further bug is here that uh, we don't have the engine sound in the beginning and it still um, sounds as if the engine would be broken like with the landing. So after four kills, he decided to go back to the airfield, probably out of ammo. <clears throat> Maybe he was damaged and the paper model didn't show up. I don't know. But anyway, uh, one of the last possible customers would be this Wyvern and the Wyvern also is one of those planes that has great firepower, significantly more ammunition and well, they miss each other and then they do a little bit of a weird dance. And you know, turning with a Focke Wolf even with the flaps fully deployed or what, it is just a sluggish beast but so is the Wyvern as well, especially when it wants to bomb something and if uh, it has the bombs attached then the pathway is kind of predictable and at this range you know it's pretty difficult to snipe somebody accurately and you know just uh, spray and pray works probably with american 50 cals but at uh, roughly one kilometer he gets a pilot snipe i guess yeah pilot is unconscious and that's his ace and that was the last enemy player. And in fact, that was Olivier Silence first ace. And I think that's a great thing. Whenever you get an ace, especially your first one, you feel like it's an absolute achievement. In particular in a plane that is such a heavy brick as this one. But we only can one we only can thank one particular group, the enemy team. And this is also the correct screenshot. This is what I want to see. This is 69,000 civil lines and uh, 5,216 RP 
on a standard non-premium account for five kills and a win. And I think that is a result worth showing. And you can see with the achievements, you know, that also is uh, over 10% of your overall income. That's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Again, thank you all of these silence for sending in this great battle in a correct way. I know that I'm a bit late, but currently time is not really a luxury that I have too much of. And that's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please give this video a like with it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other on the waves, on the battlefields and in the skies of War Thunder.